Hey everybody. Yeah. Happy Halloween. Yeah, I know it's hard to believe that it's already Halloween, October 31st, 2012. Hard to believe that. But, here it is. And what I call the pre-start to the holiday season. Now, I know people might have their difference of opinion about the holiday season deal of certain reasons, but I think that's been debunked by right now if you look on Google. But, anyway, yeah, it is hard to believe it's Halloween already. The pre-start of the holiday season. Now, you might ask me, you know, Brian, what do you mean by the pre-start? Well, let me explain. I've, I've mentioned this before, and I'll mention this again. Halloween, basically, to me, is, well, according to my mom, it's not an actual holiday, or religious-wise, Christian holiday, if you will. It's just our own personal opinion. Um, but basically to me what it is, is that it's a kickoff to a pre-start. Here's what I mean. Tonight, there will be some parties. There will be no doubt about it. There will be some. Also, tonight, kids are going to go out and go trick-or-treating you know, all over the place. All over. I mean, they're just going to go all over the place. Now, you might say to yourself, well, that's cool, Brian. That's great. But what do you mean by pre-start? <laughs> okay. What I mean is afterwards, almost at midnight, if not starting the day before, starting the next day, several radio stations, not all of them, but several radio stations, as well as music channel on demand, music choice channels on demand, within 24 hours or less than that, will be, and I'm totally honest with you on this, will be broadcasting and airing Christmas music. I'm not lying, folks. I remember last year I did this. Within 24 hours, we went from Halloween-related music to Christmas. I mean, look, Target's already advertising for Christmas. That's what I believe. But that is what tells me the pre starts come. Yeah. Pre start is yes, him. Oh, that this is the pre start because basically you start getting that. And days start to go kind of, and the, the way days are, sometimes they start to go in between of quick and slow. What I mean is, if you're at home, it goes by quick. If you're at work or at school, it goes by slow. The reason being is, if you're in school, you're counting down the days to your Christmas break. If you're at work, the same thing, but you're counting down to vacation. You see, a lot of people don't look at Halloween as the pre-start of the holiday season, but it is. It is the pre-start. Because one, you basically, basically Halloween, whether you think it's an actual holiday or, or not, you know, it's a time for families, just like Thanksgiving and Christmas, to get together, either as a whole or in separate groups, get together and go do Halloween stuff. In other words, trick-or-treating with the kids. And just like Halloween, Thanksgiving also is about family get together, so is Christmas. So again, so basically to me, that is why Halloween is sort of like the pre-start to the holiday season. And just as anybody, and just as anybody would know and agree, like I said, you have evidence of it being the pre-start because the next day you get your Christmas music 
in several radio stations as well as several music choice on demand stations. And that's not all. For someone like myself, it's also the opportunity to restart a tradition. Now, I didn't do the Halloween portion this year. I was going to do it, but unfortunately I won't be able to. But that's okay. I'll be able to get more in with the Christmas and Thanksgiving. But yeah, I'm going to try to do at least ten, if not six at the most. Six or ten at the most of DVDs worth of holidays. Just like I did last year. Now you might ask yourself, well Brian, why would you even waste that? Well, it's real simple. True. People like me may record the same holiday stuff over and over and over again. But sometimes there's always so. But the reason being is because there's always something new. There's always something added to the to the melting pot of holiday specials and goodness. And let's face it, the Thanksgiving Day Parade by Macy's and the Rockefeller Square thing are not always the same. They're always different. They have different guests, they have different musical performers, stuff like that. That's always what it is. So, for someone like me to try to at least do 10 at the most, if not 6 at the least, is going to be quite a challenge. But the way I've got it worked out is like this. I'm probably going to take a lot of the Christmas related films and put them individually as, you know, put them together as one. Depending on length of it, though. Depending on length. Now, again, you might say, it's kind of ridiculous. Now, you might say, well, Brian, you've been doing this for years. Why keep doing it? Because to me, it's a tradition. I like to record the specials. And like I said, whether I've recorded them before or not, it's always a great tradition. And it's always great to go on places like YouTube, on Google, and find, courtesy of Torrance, while you still have them, uh, and find specials that you may have known of or may have not known of. So, that's always a good thing, too. But, yeah, honestly, getting back to what I was saying, I'm saying Halloween is indeed, to me, the pre-start of the holiday season. Um, just basically because of what I said. You know, Halloween, whether you believe it's a Christian holiday or not, or whatever. Well, it's not a Christian holiday, let's face it, but... Whether you believe it's an actual holiday or not, I should say. Um, it's totally up to you. And but, it, but basically, it is looked at as a holiday, if you will, because families do get together, just like they do for Thanksgiving. Christmas and at times New Year's. So, that's all I'm going to say on it. Um, let me know what you guys think down below. Comments are welcome, and once again, Happy Halloween. Be safe and be careful. You'll probably see this probably later on tonight after Halloween's all said and done. But take care. God bless.